And thank you. Corvette chaos. Chopper 6 capturing the aftermath to a wild start to Memorial Day on Sunny Isles Beach. Police trying to stop a driver and it ended with a crash. Police also found a gun. Our Heather Walker has been following the developments, joining us live with a video that you will see only on NBC6. Heather. That driver now behind bars thanks to the quick work by Sunny Isles Beach Police. Here's the video you'll only see on 6. NBC6, the only camera rolling when the suspect was being hauled off to jail. The suspect identified by police as 35 year old Tyler Carter Bernard. Hours earlier, this was the scene. That's the suspect's red Corvette seen smashed up. It is unbelievable that on Collins Avenue you see something like that happen. Investigators tell us it all started around 930 this morning when Sunny Isles Beach police were conducting speed checks and this Corvette was clocking in speeding. But instead of ending in a ticket, the driver decided to take off, crashing into this woman who was stomped at a red light on 178th and Collins. This guy came and just hit so fast from the back. All I felt it was the... Daisy Lignelli says she was on her way to work when she got caught up in the mess. The driver slamming into her so fast, the Corvette kept going. And so did the driver, according to police, taking off running, dropping a gun in the process, and somehow ending up here at Hollandale Beachwalk Hotel, where he was found by Sunny Isles Beach Police and taken to jail. Now police tell us that suspect had a bench warrant for trespassing. He's now being held on a handful of charges, including resisting arrest. Reporting live in Sunny Isles Beach, Heather Walker, NBC6 News.